who says you can only have one iconic role. Spoken. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who played multiple comic book characters. Wanna see something cool? Yeah. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at actors who have brought to life more than one comic book character on the big screen, and ranking them based on how high profile the roles were, as well as how many they've had in all. The performances will be taken into account, but not necessarily the quality of the films themselves. Number 10, Aaron Taylor Johnson as Kick-Ass and Quicksilver, the Kick-Ass franchise and the MCU. Yo, kid, who the hell are you? What is this? I'm Kick-Ass. Look me up. This English actor first donned the tights in 2010 as the titular Kick-Ass in the live-action adaptation of Mark Miller's hyper-violent and grounded superhero comic book of the same name. And he did it in the company of multi-character comic book movie actor Nicolas Cage, who went from Ghost Rider to Big Daddy. You need us. Put on your website that you're on vacation. We'll find you. Hit girl, back to headquarters. This was before Taylor Johnson bulked up and, emphasizing his geekier qualities, he made for a perfect Dave Lazuski. Though his tenor as Quicksilver in the MCU was sadly short-lived, he nonetheless left a lasting impression and made a true hero's exit. He didn't see that coming. Number 9. Tom Hardy as Bane and Venom, The Dark Knight Trilogy and Venom well, Congratulations! You got yourself caught! Sir? Now what's the next step of your master plan? Crashing this plane! After working with Dark Knight director Christopher Nolan on Inception, Tom Hardy was cast as Bane, the villain who broke Batman. And he proved that the character doesn't need comic book super steroid Venom to be a terrifyingly intimidating physical force. Ah uh, yes! I was wondering what would break first! <laughs> Your spirit? <laughs> Oh, you bunny! Speaking of Venom, Hardy has also donned the mantle of the Marvel villain slash anti-hero in a film that aimed to redeem the character following the disappointment of Spider-Man 3. I Few actors can say that they have two big name characters of this caliber on their resume, earning Hardy a spot on our list. What the hell are you? Number 8. Michael B. Jordan as Human Torch and Eric Killmonger Stevens, Fantastic Four and the MCU. Sometimes things just happen for a reason. Johnny, you have no idea what they are planning to do to you. They're not doing anything to me. I'm doing this with them. We should consider ourselves lucky that Michael B. Jordan was willing to return to the superhero genre after the mess that was his first comic book outing. In Jordan's defense, his performance had nothing to do with Josh Trank's reboot becoming the train wreck it did. He was actually enjoyable in the role of Johnny Storm. How about two guys, a girl, and the thing that nobody wanted? Hey, we both know that you could take him. What really earned Jordan a spot on our list, however, was his turn in Black Panther, as the prodigal son of Wakanda, Eric Killmonger Stevens. Hey, Auntie. Arguably one of the best and most nuanced villains in the MCU to date, Killmonger was physically imposing, stylish, and wonderfully complex. Jordan truly delivered the goods with this role. You're not telling me that's vibranium, do you? No, I'm just feeling it. Number 7. Hugo Weaving as V and Red Skull, V for Vendetta and the MCU. Verily, this vicious swaz of verbiage veers most verbose, so let me simply add that it's my very good honor to meet you and you may call me V. Are you like a crazy person? I'm quite sure they will say so. This English-Austrian actor has mastered the art of playing commanding characters. Though perhaps best known as Agent Smith in the Matrix trilogy, he won the hearts of cinema-goers and comic book lovers alike with his portrayal of Alan Moore's heroic anarchist slash revolutionary V. It takes a lot of skill to deliver a powerful performance from behind a mask, but he did just that opposite Natalie Portman. Dance with me. Now? On the eve of your revolution? Oh, revolution without dancing is a revolution not worth having. In 2011, however, he returned to his villainous ways, playing the arch nemesis of Captain America, Johann Schmidt slash Red Skull. He nailed the menacing, deeply evil character, and his appearance post-transformation, chilling and straight from the comics. Number 6. Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman and Janet Van Dyne 
Tim Burton's Batman franchise, and the MCU. Meow. Yeah. There's something really nice about seeing the same actor appear in two different comic book movies that are separated by a 25-year gap. With her unforgettable performance as Catwoman in Tim Burton's Batman Returns, Michelle Pfeiffer earned a place in the pantheon of pop culture icons. You poor guys, always confusing your pistols with your pride. Flash forward to 2018, and she's once again bringing a classic comic book character to life, this time as the original Wasp, Janet Van Dyne. Though it goes without saying, Pfeiffer delivered yet another excellent performance. One of the only criticisms we have is that Ant-Man and the Wasp didn't give her enough screen time. Number 5. Ben Affleck as Daredevil and Batman, Daredevil and the DCEU Hell's Kitchen is my neighborhood. I prowl the rooftops and alleyways at night, watching from the darkness, forever in darkness. Poor Ben Affleck. He's an undeniably talented actor and director, but as far as superhero movies are concerned, he seems incapable of a home run. Daredevil was sadly released before Hollywood really figured out a winning formula for superhero movies. Though it was generally disappointing and has aged poorly, Affleck was actually solid in the role. I'm not the bad guy. Despite the devil of Hell's Kitchen haunting him, he bravely agreed to play Batman in the DC Cinematic Universe. Do you plead? You will. While the films haven't fared well with critics, and we would have liked to see better writing behind the character, Ben was honestly excellent as both Batman and Bruce Wayne. Number 4. Michael Keaton as Batman and Vulture, Tim Burton's Batman franchise and the MCU. What are you? I'm Batman. Speaking of actors who did the mantle of Batman proud, how about this household name? Michael Keaton proved himself to be a worthy Batman and Bruce Wayne, despite initial public trepidation about the casting choice. Now you wanna get nuts? Come on! Let's get nuts. Flash forward to 2017, and Keaton proved yet again that he's got a knack for bringing comic book characters to life. As far as MCU villains go, Keaton's vulture was a breath of fresh air. I thought this was the anti-gravity gun. What? No, that's that one. While most are trying to take over the world, he was grounded more in earthly, everyday concerns. He was a relatable villain, made even more relatable thanks to Keaton's believable performance. And don't you ever, ever, interfere with my business again, because if you do, I'll kill you and everybody you love. Number 3. Ryan Reynolds as Hannibal King, Deadpool, Green Lantern, and Nick Walker. The Blade franchise, the X-Men franchise, Green Lantern, and R.I.P.D. Oh, hello. This Canadian actor doesn't quit, and he's got a colorful resume to prove it. But every time he got saddled with a stinker in the making, he nonetheless turned in a likable performance. Reynolds first appeared as Hannibal King in Blade Trinity. We're still trying to sort out fact from fiction when it comes to Dracula. Turning into mist? Kinda doubt it. Then in 2009, he played a bastardized version of Wade Wilson in the much maligned X-Men Origins Wolverine, only to follow that up with the colossal bomb that was Green Lantern. Oh, green! Wow. I know, right? Then in 2013, he played Nick Walker in R.I.P.D. Because hey, why not? You'd think he'd have sworn off comic book movies, but he kept pushing for a proper Deadpool movie. And now, he's easily one of the most beloved actors in the genre. Hey, it's me. Don't scratch. Just cleaning up the timelines. Number 2. Josh Brolin as Jonah Hex, Agent K, Cable, and Thanos. Jonah Hex, Men in Black 3, the X-Men franchise, and the MCU. We're gonna level with you. This one kinda snuck up on us. Josh Brolin's first comic book movie role was a starring one, just not in a very good film. He starred opposite Megan Fox, John Malkovich, and Michael Fassbender in a super weird secondary villain role as the titular Jonah Hex in a film that totally tanked. Jonah Hex. But then, in 2012, he played a young Agent K in the third Men in Black film, and stepped into Tommy Lee Jones' sizable shoes with remarkable grace. Now I know what you look like when you're lying, why don't you show me what you look like when you're telling the truth? It's in the MCU and with Fox that he's made the most significant impressions, however, playing both Cable and Thanos in two of 2018's biggest comic book movies. 
Number 1. Chris Evans as Human Torch, Casey Jones, Jake Jensen, Lucas Lee, and Captain America. The Fantastic Four franchise, TMNT, The Losers, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and the MCU. The only thing keeping me and her apart is the two minutes it's gonna take to kick your ass. Can I have your, can I have your autograph, please? All hail Chris Evans, an actor who's honestly made a career in the genre. Evans' origins in comic book movies might be humble, but however quick you might be to dismiss Fox's Fantastic Four movies, you can't deny that he made for a likable and charming Johnny Storm. Johnny, I've got to ask you about this outfit. Yeah, it's sort of Armani meets astronaut. Three years after lending his voice to Casey Jones in the computer animated TMNT, he played two minor comic book characters in the Vertigo adaptation, The Losers, and as an evil ex in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, before finally joining the big leagues as none other than Captain America. How'd you feel? I'm taller. Um, you look taller. In the role, he's become one of the most beloved big screen heroes of our time. Chris Evans, we salute your contributions to the genre. I am Steve Rogers. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.